Hello and welcome back to today's episode of Transformer Tuesdays. And today we're looking at the Studio Series 86 Grimlock. Uh, this ep figure is actually pretty popular right now. It's almost impossible to find at retail price. I personally picked up this with my own money at $170 Canadian, which translates to about 124 US dollars. Now you're probably clicking this video because of the title. The title says, is the Studio Series 86 Grimlock worth the money in 2023? Well, let, let's let you be the judge of that. If we look at the figure here, you can see she has some wrist articulation on both sides. The uh, act well that's the elbow actually, the wrist does not turn at all. You can get an upgrade kit for that if you want. And he has his mouth there, he does have a, a port there so you can put some flame effects on him. One uh, flaw that people have pointed out is he does not have any front teeth at the top and bottom. And the transformation is actually really good on this thing. He does come with a little wheelie, but you've seen that all everywhere there. And let's just do a quick transformation of him, shall we? Okay, let's uh, start with, let's see, we can start with the feet here. So let's just push this apart, pull that apart. Okay, so let's loosen everything here, loosen that. Okay, so that's taken apart here. So we open the tail here, that allows you to put his legs back in here. That's, uh, it's kind of a mess here, let's just start over. Tuck away his tail, tuck away the other side of the tail there. I swear the transformation is actually really intuitive on this thing, there is a little bolt you have to like push over to the left not a bolt but the leg part that way you can push that in that clicks in so that's his one leg other leg is the same you have to push it in a certain way there it clicks in push that back the foot goes back there and those are his two feet right there now let's start with the upper body. It does split right open, so you can just take your finger, open his chest out, yeah. and the chest actually goes upward, but before you do that, you just gotta lift up his head so you don't cover it, and the chest plate connects there, like so. And all you have left to do just pull out his wrist, here and here. His arms are like that. His wrist is like that. And then put the, put the arms down. You can just hide them behind his wings. And here is Grimlock. Is he worth 124 US dollars? I would say so. It depends on if you are looking for Studio Series figures. Personally, I am. I do have, as you can see in the back here, Dinobot Sludge and Slug. So I just wanted to complete my collection. You will not find this in a shelf anywhere. You'll probably have to go through a used market like eBay. That's where I got mine. I got an open box one, so it was a bit cheaper. These are probably retailing for over $200 if they're still sealed. And this is one of my favorite figures. And the reason why is I, I do love the character Grimlock. He's one of my favorite characters in Transformers. And the transformation is actually really quick, really simple, fun to transform. And he is huge. He's a big uh, figure, like most other... Deluxe figures are like 
that tall and then the uh, voyagers are about that tall so he does tower over everything he is a big figure he does come with a gun and a wheelie I still have them in the box but I can pull out the box and show you <coughs> here's the box here wheelie is in there the gun is still there I haven't even pulled them out yet. I can take Wheelie out if you want to see him. Do that now. And I might as well grab the gun while I'm here too. Here's the gun. One of the biggest complaints with this figure isn't even Grimlock. It's Wheelie himself. He doesn't have any movable knees or elbows. So he's kind of just stuck like that. Just sit him on his shoulder or something like that. Yeah, but he's forever in this position trying to shoot a, his uh, slingshot at you just like in the movie, in the 1986 movie. Grimlock does not have a sword. He does have this double-barreled gun, which is huge and nice. But yeah, I, I'm really a big fan of this. Do I regret my purchase? Never. I don't regret these ones. I haven't even opened these ones, but Grimlock came opened already, so I constantly fiddle and play with this guy. Uh, would I recommend you buy it? Probably. If you're a big fan of the character, you like the Studio Series 86 figures, I do recommend getting them. If you're more into, like you're not dedicated to the 86 series line, I probably wouldn't get them. Because you can probably get a Masterpiece for about the same price. The Masterpiece will not obviously look as bulky as this guy, because he has some great proportions here. He's nice and big like the other guys. These are like the Dinobots on steroids pretty much. Yeah, he's a great figure. Yeah. If you are if you have the cash to buy him, I do recommend buying him and uh check out my video and like and subscribe to see more. If there is a specific figure you want to see, please uh leave a comment and I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.